marching for hours and for more than five miles with this group. Right now, we're right by Bank of America Stadium. You can see this 277 overpass here. And we had some protesters who actually climbed up there and got on top of the highway and were walking around. Uh, other group of protesters kind of talked them down and said, let's keep it moving, people. We're trying to keep up with everyone. This is a really fluid situation. I want to give you a look. Right now, all these protesters are flooding 277, the on-ramp there. They have completely blocked access to the highway right now. It's a pretty unbelievable scene. We have hundreds of people out here. Why aren't you telling them to release the video? You want to tell them to release the video? I can get that message You can get it now. They want the police to release the tapes in the shooting of Keith Scott. That seems to be the chant we're hearing over and over again. They deployed some tear gas. We're definitely getting some wafts of that. People are coughing up here, and that kind of pushed everyone back from 277. It's the only confrontation really we saw last night between protesters and from the police was when they got on 277, so we could likely see that again. We will continue to monitor the situation, see if we can get a little bit closer. And I'd say there's at least 200 or so here at the park right now. Some of them are passing out some signs like you can see here saying things like defend the Charlotte Rebellion to resist is justified. Definitely a smaller group than we've seen the past couple of days, but still just as passionate. Now, as Panthers fans are coming towards the stadium, they're greeted by a group of protesters here who are kept from reaching the front of the stadium by this line of police and their bicycles. So we're really seeing a lot of relationships happen between police and the community, and I think a dialogue has really been opened by everything that has happened this week, and that's a really positive thing that we're seeing in Charlotte right now. Rakia Scott, the wife of Keith Scott, remained pretty stoic. She didn't show a lot of emotion on her face, and she didn't speak to the media. She let the attorneys do the talking. They called it a bittersweet day, said they received more information, more facts about this case that they wanted, but it clearly wasn't the outcome they were hoping for. They did say, however, that based on the evidence the district attorney showed today, they understood his decision not to press charges, but they said just because the shooting wasn't criminal doesn't mean it was right, and they are still looking into whether the Charlotte-Mecklenburg Police Department or the city could be civilly liable for the shooting.